In this video, I want to show you how to create an alert based on a study. For this particular example, we're going to use the Keltner channel. However, it can be used for the Bollinger Bands, moving averages, uh, various other studies that are in the list. So the first thing you want to do is right click on your chart, and we're using the cues as, for this particular example. For this example, we're going to right click on the chart and create an alert. And then we're going to go to price, where it says price mark. We're going to drop down and select study, and then we're going to go to edit. While we're here in this edit field, we're going to delete the simple moving average. that's in there. And we're going to, under our condition setup, we have the option to select any time frame. Just right now, it's set on daily. You can do this for weekly. You can do it for you know the five minute if you're intraday trading whatever time frame you want. For this particular example, we're going to leave it on the daily. And then we're going to come down to add condition. And then we're going to select a condition. And this condition we're going to select is going to be price. And things that make sense for price are like low, the mark, and close. Those various ones make sense. So this one here, I'm going to use low because of the particular uh, alert that I want to get. And then, once we have our condition set, we want, we want to further define it. And we can further define it in this column to the right here. Uh, things that would make sense would be crosses or less than or equal to, equal to, et cetera. I want less than or equal to. So if price gets lower than what uh, my alert is or it touches, which would be equal to, that's what I'm looking for. Just I want to ballpark it right there on the particular one. And then here I'm going to select on the next column, I want to select a particular study. And this one here is going to be the Keltner channel. Now right here, in this particular box here, we can select which one of the bands we want to use. For, for my example, I want to know when it touches that lower band because when it touches that lower band I'm going to be looking to go long. Now if you're you know and, and right now I'm using in this particular example I'm using the lower band because we're in a market correction so there's a you know good likelihood it will hit. You can see it already touched that lower band once uh, so I've missed it on the lower band at this particular time but I'm, I'm just using this example for what you would probably want to do during a market correction. Uh, not being a market correction, being a normal, you might want to select the average band, the blue blue band in the middle. But for this one, we're going to select lower band. And there, that's all there is to it. Here you can make actual adjustments to the study setting that you could do when you place in the study. You can make this, it's the same adjustments here that you can make. You change the average type to, say, exponential if you wanted to. But Keltner being a true range study, I'm going to leave it as it is. And we're going to save, we'll click OK, click Create. Now you'll notice nothing shows up on the chart to show you that you have an alert. And the reason is, is the Keltner channel is fluid, so it, that there's no fixed position. But it's going to be looking for this and how you can verify that, that that study actually created is go to Market Watch, Alerts, and you'll see right here, Pull it out, and you see we have that that particular alert set. And you see, I had created one earlier uh, for the weekly when I was playing around with it, getting ready to prepare this video. But this is it; it's set. I canceled that one right there. And really, that's all there is to it. If this helped you out, how about leaving a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, help the algorithm get this channel out there. Thank you. You have a good day.